It was really nice to get this position, having learned from Magnus Carlsen's banter blitz. Magnus kept playing this line as black, and I had never seen it before. So I decided to use the Chess24 Stockfish engine, and try to see the most critical line. e5, knight h5, and bishop e3. It's good to get your opponent out of preparation. My opponent was thinking here for 10 seconds and already in blitz that things have gone right. Now in my other video I analyzed d6 to break up the center. However, my opponent played d5 and I know for sure en passant is not good. Because after take take already I've lost my advantage. I don't have a big enough center. This is not what I want. After d5, I played f4, just trying to play aggressively as possible. This was not seen from Magnus's opponents during the second banter blitz. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna get the, he's gonna get knight f6 on the next move. There's no, there's no doubt about that. So we're living dangerously. But he's such a chicken. I mean, yeah, the lack of uh, cojones is is astounding. My opponent played knight c6 here. So again, just playing aggressively as possible, c4, and after e6, knight c3. I have a big center, he's got a silly knight on h5. Even though in this position... Oh yeah, great. Whew. Don't think queen h4 check works, just having a look. Because after g3, knight g3, bishop f2. I didn't actually see that at the time. Knight c3. Bishop b4 is played, queen b3. Yeah, being as aggressive as possible. Attacking, d5. Knight g7 makes sense, rerouting to f5. Take, take. Maybe you could take with the queen, actually, and then get a slightly worse endgame. Pawn takes was chosen, and now, yeah, castle queenside. Why not? As aggressive as possible. Now I am threatening knight takes d5. My opponent chose to play bishop takes c3. Perhaps he should go bishop e6. Just to uh, not give up the bishop pick. Maybe he thought I was just going to go a3 anyway. And after take, take. I've got the bishop pair. Even though here, is this so bad? Yeah, queen b7. The position's just falling apart. Yeah. So, my opponent took. I took with the queen. I have a nice position. But he's got some blockade going for him. If I can get my bishop on the dark squares, I'm doing great. Bishop f2, h5, just stops g4. Knight f3, bishop e6, and now bishop b5. I'm attacking the knight, but I have no intention of taking it, because you'll see why I put the bishop on b5. It is to gain time, to gain a tempo. Queen d7, I just go king b1. At the moment, my kingside attacking ideas are not so clear. Hence, I attack on the queen side because I have the c file to work with. a6? No, I'm not taking the knight because uh, I lose my advantage. Also, is the boring move. Keep the pin. He plays a bad move here, weakening all the dark squares, which is what I wanted him to do. b5. Just bishop back. I could go bishop c2, but bishop b3 first because I don't want him to go bishop f5 later to swap off a pair of bishops. I want to keep the pieces on. a5, rook c1, that was the plan. Typical shuffle. King b1, rook c1, play on the other side of the board. Knight e7. Bishop h4 comes in. Uh, I'm taking over. a4, bishop d1. Rook a6, because he, he might want to move the e7 knight later. Bishop e2, pin, rook b6, bishop in, rook g8, and now king a1. Alternatively, I could go queen c5 straight away. If he goes b4, bishop b5, that's too annoying. That might be game over straight away. However, I just played king a1 just to get out of the way. Knight c8, queen in, knight a7, and now knight g5. The guy can't move. It's turning out to be a very nice game. Rook b7, knight h7. Planning to come into f6, so that that's a cool way to get the knight to f6. And that's over. So yeah, I'm very pleased with this game. Let's just see the rest. I know it's only a blitz game, but it's still nice to win in this fashion. 
Knight e7, bishop g5, yeah, vacating the square, and now knight f6, and that's game over. The rest of the game, there's nothing worth saying, because I'm just going to win uh, absolutely everything. Just see the rest. I just took, I came in, check, and then I just won on time, but the important thing is my position is totally winning. So a very nice game, in my opinion, and it was great to use what I learnt from Magnus Carlsen's second banter blitz, because after e5, knight h5, I researched this line, and I came up, well, Stockfish came up with bishop e3. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to the channel? Why not give this video a like?